one of the UK's best exports. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, Bates made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the US. Yeah, do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. Mello don't miss, and Mello is and his him. First, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes is a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher. Time for Mello to make that money. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. And yeah. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. not missing his chance it's all about now and Knight is laying the foundation to be a top WWE superstar for a long long time Triple Threat always a challenging matchup for any superstar. For this bout, it'll be Tyler Bate, Carmelo Hayes, and LA Knight. Triple Threat matches are a beast of their own. No disqualification, no count out, and twice the threat of being pinned or submitted. Oh, hold on, is he thinking of a submission here? Wow, the pop. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. From behind, back suplex. Oof, nails the midsection. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, he fights bait back. Snapmare takeover, followed by like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy. But Billy Goat's curse is broken. Turning the tables there. Took the world face bust. 
Lesnar, wow! And Bate perhaps tripped up by his inexperience there. And he just showed why expectations are so high for him. Oh, bop and bang! Turns it around, so the foot meets the stomach. Great way to completely disrupt the momentum. And Bot, just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! An easy kick out there. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. LA Knight ready to use the microphone as a weapon. This time, Lillian. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. He's returning fire. Funky butt love it. He's got a baseball bat. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Wham! That logo just got tattooed between their eyes. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Oh, and Knight fights back. Held in a perilous position. Straight impact on the throat. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Big time knee. Maybe not. Maybe not. Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Agility like that. Easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, referee in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hopefully he recovers quickly. This could devolve into pure bedlam otherwise. Go behind. German suplex released. Boom. Stomping. Ouch. Looking for something, anything under the ring. He's got a sledgehammer. Oh, man. This is not going to end well. Response with the Lariat. Clearly waiting for that. Able to give him the slip. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. He's absorbing some tough hits now. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Comes back into the ramp. Enough already. Whack. This is turning into Swanson Street. Is it enough here? count there. Ruthless, ruthless striking. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, and Hayes is in command. Carmelo is holding nothing back. Oh. position you want to be in right now. Can't prepare your face for that. Quickly slips behind. Snap German suplex. <laughs> Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Very effective. They look at to humiliate his opponent. Hooked him up. Yeah, suplex. Boom. And Knight clearly ready for a fight here. He's back into the ring. Oh, suplex. He's taking this to the floor now. on the wrong side of that exchange. What clothesline! He has just completely lost his wind. Not what you want to see by any means. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Great strength being shown here. Oh my gosh, what impact! 
Looks like LA Knight got busted up there. A running Hurricane Rana. Carmelo hands with it. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. Neither one of these men are showing any signs of staying down. Yeah, but it can't last much longer at this pace. Carmelo dodges in time. Able to avoid any harm there. DDT! Booming belt! And Tyler refusing to let up on the fight, even for a moment. Tyler has to be close to ending this thing once and for all. Elbow throw, saying not today. the temple. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. And he goes into the ring. He must have seen that coming. LA Knight kick to the gut. BFT. Knight stamping in to this. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh. Powered up across the shoulders, and we're going to take an old school look at the airplane spin over again. And now, we're going to reverse direction. This is so disorienting for your opponent. And if you're not careful, for yourself as well. What's he at here? Tossed a substantial distance. What energy in the arena tonight. Oh, bop and bang. up the pin. Vicious right forearm. Oh. Ooh. Here he goes for the win. And still in this. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Into the ring again. Oh, walloped by a huge. Bait with a kick to the gut, double under. Tyler Driver, 97. Carmelo with a cause for concern. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. The close line. Measured up nicely. Fist drop. That one busted up Tyler. Atmosphere. Everyone wanted a banger, and boy, you got it. And Zagiri drops him. He climbs into the ring. And the confidence and cockiness of Hayes on display now. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. the shoulders. Bait with a kick to the gut, double under. Oh, Tyler Driver, 97. Did Bait end it there? From behind, back suplex. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here?
Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Quick strike to the lower body. Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. And he tosses him back in now. Whip back into the ring. Hayes in full control. Oh my goodness, what a cut! Can Bate recover from that? Two count and a kick out. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. And listen to this place. Springboard misses the target. From behind, back suplex. So precise. They look at to humiliate his opponent. Solid punch. Returning to the ring now. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. <laughs> Turned it into an arm drag. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Oh, man. He catches Knight with a counter. Suplex. Two kicks out. He still has life. Huh? Bate with a kick to the gut. Double under. Tyler Driver 97. Amazingly executed. Cutter. More. He's still in this fight. Unreal. Unreal the kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Instinct at this point. Into the corner now. Uncorked a big punch. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Big forearm. Close line in the corner. The springboard attack. Looking for the victory. There's two. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing victorious after that battle, gentlemen, beating one other superstar's no walk in the park, let alone two.
Time to party with the profits. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ward and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown! You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And their opponents, accompanied by Wolfgang, at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there too. Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. We're about to see the dominant force of Gallus in full display here, guys. These guys have been running roughshod over WWE for a while now. For them, it's about GBOT. Gallus boys on top. We'll see if that happens for the Gallus boys tonight, Corey. And standing across the ring are the Street Profits. Say it with me, Corey. We want the smoke. I will do no such thing, Saxton, though I will say that the Street Profits are a hell of a tall task. Speed from Ford, power from Dawkins. These guys just possess the in factor. Trying their opponent's arm out. Ah, oh, double stop right to the arm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Jarring impact. Up and around, and tilt the world slam. Dawkins' attack gets reversed. Grabbing an item from under the ring is perfectly within the duties of being a manager. Solely focused on, oh, the legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Into a slam! Oh no, he can be caught here, Beth. Body breaks free, but will the damage 
which proved to be irreparable. Consider tagging in that partner. Mark finding an opening. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Targeting the throat there. He thinks he has it. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He really thought that was it. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Flex. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Ah, the old pump handle. Slam. Uh-oh. Great counter. Yes, ten. Trampling. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Placed in the corner. Uh-oh. Able to capitalize on Ford's mistake. Sure, European uppercut. Boom, right in the button. Bang it back with their own counter. Marching up the corner. Sliced bread. Cover. Kicks out of the pinfall attempt. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Dawkins feeling himself now. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Dodges. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Blind Buster. Using the elbow as a weapon. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Gets him with the counter. Big forearm. Oh, brutal forearm. Just squashing their opponent. 
He saw that one coming. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Coming to the rescue. Tossed into the corner. Full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Trapped in the corner. No escape from these punches. Oh, blow the bread basket. Now a series of riches. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. You know what they say, gentlemen? What do they say, Corey? What goes up must come crashing down. Boom! Joe with a timely counter. Vicious right forearm. Tag with a punch. And this has got to be it! And he kicks out of the pen in one. I don't know what more this superstar could do to put him away. Set it up. Gets the tag. Punch lands. There he goes, right into the corner. Dawkins setting it up. Sky high for Dawkins. Mark is out. That's it. Amazing. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? It's been an hellacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's gonna end. Clean tag for his partner. He scared the daylights out of him. Placing them into the corner. Montez is in a very vulnerable position here. Mark Coffey in control. Crowning glory. Mark Coffey with a big time move. Cover. And he makes the save for his team. And a tag there. Boom, what impact. Here's the tag. These two superstars planning a double team maneuver. Joe Coffey on his last breath. Cover! Oh, I thought it was over, but again! Can we please get some control? What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Repeated waistlock takedowns. Here it comes. Nicely done. He gets tagged in. Right to the kidneys from behind. And every hit Ford is taking now is more fatal than ever. I bet Coffee is looking to bring this match to a close.
Setting it up. Boom! Countered it just in time. Partner tags in. He got whipped into that corner. You can't take much more of this. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. One, two. That holds back Ford's attack. is unfolding before our eyes. Tag is made, and here we go. Big back body drop. Shoulder tackle. Suplex. Ooh, targeting the leg there. Imantez Ford finds himself on the defensive. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. Left by the turnbuckles. Tag made, fresh man in. Return fire from Dawkins. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Nice amateur takedown. Ford did his homework there. Flashback! Uses the edge of the knee. And the knee. Tags him in. Steer clear of that. Gracious. Connects on the kick. And somehow Joe is still able to find the offense as this battle goes on. All of Angelo's work is being broken down by the second. He's in some real trouble. The stomp in every single part of his body. Waiting patiently in the corner, stalking their opponent. There's the Costco send-off. Play impossible. Shoulders down. Now oh, he kicked out at two. I cannot believe it. This is where desperate. He's got Dawkins here. Joe can sense victory. Makes the cut. He makes the save for his team. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Vicious right forearm. Boom, what a punch. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Pinpointing the leg yeah. in the corner. Splash in the corner. Wow. Able to capitalize. And look at this now, yes. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Trying their opponent's arm out. There's a double stomp right down the arm. And Montez is really dialed in right now. Yeah, Ford is proving hard to keep up with. The oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ah, oh, jumpy DDT. My. Ooh. This is where Mark Coffey will be tested. Marching up the corner. Sliced bread. Wait, 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 wait. And a kick out at two and a half. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Loading up, full speed ahead. A hip attack shoulder. in the corner. Shoulders down. Wait, 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 how can that be fair? Come on, ref, keep these guys in check. Tag is registered. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining.
Into the corner. A tag made. Here comes the double team. What do they have planned here? Oh, oh. revelation. Will Ford take advantage? Makes the cave. <laughs> Still got more fight here. Hooked up in the corner. Oh, an exploder suplex into the corner. Over and over, repeated waist lock takedowns. Placed in the corner now. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. And OJ. And the cover for the win! This is it! Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. The Street Profits with cause for celebration after that win. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. The O-G-O-C in the building. Always ready for action. Aimed at the opposition like a machine gun. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the O-C by way of Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. The machine gun returned to WWE fully loaded. Anderson was still a top champion in Japan when he rejoined WWE. And now he's ready to take even more titles in WWE as well. The aerial artist of LWO. You better keep your eyes on Cruz del Toro. And his opponent, representing the LWO from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico, weighing in at 190 pounds, Cruz del Toro. Cruz del Toro looking to carry on the legacy of Lucha Libre tonight. He's ready to show his skills without Legato tonight.
Well, he made his debut at 15 years old, over a decade, wrestling in Mexico and Japan. He brings his devastating hybrid of lucha libre and technical skills to every match he competes in. In your face, both in and out of the ring, machine gun Carl Anderson loves to talk trash and back it all up when the time comes. The good brother just might be the most underrated talent on the entire roster. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Whoa. And he easily stops the ref's count. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Two ways about it. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Suplex. Such a potent display of power and control there. And he's taking this to the outside now. Suplex. Boom. Lands an elbow. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. This one is headed outside, guys. And we just saw some serious offense. Atomic drop. Ooh. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah. Oh, look at that. In trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Missed timing with that springboard. And he's able to reverse. Continuing to work on the arm with a... And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Corey, where do you think Carl Anderson's head's at going into a match like this? I think it's at the same place it always is, Cole. Anderson gets in the ring, he gets the work done, and he calls it a day. That sort of steadfast focus on making quick work of his opponents is what made him so successful. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. So resilient. Ooh, stinging kick. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. Set it up. Suplex. Vicious right forearm. Down with the vertical suplex. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Oh, 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 foot meet face. Foot to the gut. He's at a disadvantage. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. Three after two. Somehow, some way. Here's the cover. He gets the shoulder up at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Enough already. Oh, and back of the elbow. The only word that comes to mind with them is aberration. Yeah, Corey, what started as a sporting rivalry has devolved into this all-out war we're seeing unfold here. Close fist connects. Playing possum, shoulders down. Barely kicks out. The end was in sight. Oh, strong impact. Counters. Executed arm drag. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Wow, look at this athleticism. Nicely done. Oh. Drop kick. Oh. 
evades the attack. Toss down. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Oh, oh my. What elevation. He manages to close line. And a second. This superstar building momentum. Sweeping the leg. Things are looking up. Into the cover. leaving this match in defeat. Anderson reminding everyone he's just a good brother doing good brother things. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT champion, Ilya. Ilya Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight.
There is pure intensity in the eyes of Dragunov. That's beyond intensity, Saxton. Those are the eyes of a man possessed. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see Dragunov compete here tonight. Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out. Sleeper holds cinched in. And breaks out of the sleeper. If that happens, Corbin will use his gold gloves boxing experience to rain lefts and rights on you for days. Oh, and a stomp. Corbin going up high. Perched up top. Doggy knee drop. Shoulders down. And he powers out. He thought he had it. Can't quite get him there. Big boom. Contempt as Corbin delivered that move. <laughs> this is Corbin doling out karma for everyone who turned their backs on him. Quick thinking from Dragunov. Boy, what a kick. the ring now. Ripcord Larian. How's that for a counter? Connecting on the DDT. Stop in the leg. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. For the victory here! He got the shoulder up in time. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Gets tossed. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. What a poop. Corbin's face has seen better days. I can tell you that. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, God. Ooh, slows that down with a well placed. No way. Astounding power. Corbin with the end of days. Corbin 
might take it here. Two. Hangs on by a thread. Ilya Dragunov with a tremendous kick out. And you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger from here on out. And you know this is only going to make Corbin angrier now. He wanted to end things right there. Can vanquish Corbin for the win. Two. Oh, he kicked out. Or oh, maybe some in this arena are dumbfounded, but there's no way Corbin wasn't going to get the shoulder up before the three count. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we. And there's the cover. Finally ends it, and all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Baron Corbin! A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. the Scottish powerhouse of the women's division. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Ayrshire, Scotland. One half of the women's tag team champions, Piper Niven. Niven has made it very clear as of late, whatever she wants, she will take. You're not kidding, Saxton. She basically declared herself a tag team champion. And the funny part was, nobody objected. Niven looks ready to knock out anybody in the women's division. The unholy enchantress, Isla Dawn. A superstar who claims to be guided by spirits. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Oh, what a cheap shot. That's just evening the playing field, Cole. What a disgrace. This referee has seen it up and issued a warning. Yeah, now is not the time to push the referee's patience. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. Yeah. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. The Scottish powerhouse Piper Niven. We already know what she needs to do in this one. Unleash that power. Unleash that ruthless aggression. Unleash the real Piper Niven. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. <laughs> oh, man. Headbutt to the back of the neck. A 
Oh, what a chancery. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Toss back into the ring. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. <laughs> has an answer for Niven. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. And responds with a counter of their own. off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Forearm! Well scattered reversal there. She wants to take this one outside the ring it seems. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Stomped quickly to cover. Quick shoulder up. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. From behind. On a German suplex. That had to have taken an incredible amount of leverage to pull off on someone so much bigger. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. If a shortcut presents itself, you better take it. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Right to the gut. She had it scouted. And Dawn beats her to the punch. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! And a series of vicious stomps. And an overbearing amount of offense against Niven here. Niven's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Dawn with an absolutely devastating onslaught. Isla looks like she had fun with that attack. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Niven in big time jeopardy. That'll be a win. What a hard fought victory. Here is your winner, Isla Dawn! Isla Dawn embracing the power of her win here. Viper Niven has a perpetual bad attitude, and you can bet this loss only made it worse. She's not going to forget this anytime soon. A competitor designed for comfort. And has a unique mantra of eat, sleep, repeat. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chinatown, New York. Wendy Chu. 
I hope Wendy's ready to compete, because when the bell rings, there's no snooze button. Uh, Wendy is more than ready, and I think the opposition is going to be very alarmed tonight. <laughs> you guys get it? Alarmed? Am I asleep right now? Because this is a nightmare. Well, rest assured, this superstar does not want to get on the bad side of Alexa Bliss because there's an unexpected darkness inside there. Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. One of the smallest competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard-hitting, high-flying attacks. Lots of titles and main events to back up those claims. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Elbow drop. Finds a counter for two. Drag takedown. Uh oh. Look out. Oh. Simple but effective. And a carefully measured knee drop. Oh. Expected that one. Uh oh. What a hurricane. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. German suplex. Breaker. Ow! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Alexa Bliss has been through several transformations over the years, Corey. It makes you wonder what her in-ring strategy is going to be in this one. Well, if she's smart, and we know she is, Alexa's going to open up the aggressive streak. Bliss has to stay on the competition. She can't give them any chance to breathe here. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Japanese arm drag. And Bliss may be thinking of mind games there when she should have focused on physical offense. Very efficient form of offense from Wendy. Return fire from Alexa. Face buster! Man, that was vicious. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. She bails in a hurry. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Uncorks a thunderous chop. With the counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Rain Buster. And from the example you just saw, there is no good landing to a Brain Buster. The full Nelson Slay. Cover. There's two. No, she kicks out. She just won't stay down. Finds a counter for two. This incredibly hostile rivalry has reached levels we don't often see around here. This has been a defining journey for these superstars. They're not the same people they were when this thing started. And there's no telling where it will all end. Ooh, she just turned it around. She's losing some steam now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Got their opponent set up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. This with the kick into the sunset. 
powerbomb. Looks like Chu is feeling it. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? <laughs> Punch connects. Oof, a shot like that would counter any attack. A nice shot by Alexa Bliss. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, straight forearm. She's going up. Top rope here. Lift off. Oh, and cross body to the top. Got all of it. This match may be nearing its limit. Oh, bliss. Look at this. We got a cover. She did it. She picked up the victory. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. This was not the showing Wendy Chu had hoped for. There was no playing around from Alexa in the ring tonight. And she definitely dealt plenty of pain. We are living in the almighty era. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. We've seen it so many times when that bell rings. Bobby Lashley flips a switch. And on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating.
The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun. A chill hangs in the air. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh. Spotty does the job. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Hung across the top rope. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Taking flight. Splash. All that size and momentum landing with a sickening thud. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Great reversal. That'll turn your lights out. Savage stomp right to the arm. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow! No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Got him up. And talk about giving a DDT with authority. Close line! Can he do it here? He's determined to keep this matchup going. We know the dominance and destruction Bobby Lashley is capable of. We know why he's so difficult to prepare for, but Corey, there has to be something an opponent can do against the Almighty. You can't allow Lashley to impose his will. You can't permit him to intimidate you and live in your head rent-free. You've got to be fearless in your attack on Lashley and land direct hits. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Taking this outside. This could be good. A counter by Wyatt. Two. Don't do this. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Six. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Uh-oh. Counter. And now there's an opening. Two. Tough position to be caught in here.
Lashley a step ahead. Oh, bear hugs furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Say goodnight. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh my goodness. Not for long. Spear. Lastly, just ended this. Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. There is something inhuman in the soul of Bray Wyatt. It's the only explanation for what we just saw. Lashley's at a loss for words. He doesn't often allow anyone to get up after that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Power bomb. Belly to belly suplex. Oh, my goodness. And Bray has no control here. Crumble at the feet of the Almighty. He's finding himself in trouble here. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. The light from Blaze Fireflies may be dimming with the control of the suplex. Looking for a high risk move. Dejected, but trust me, he's already plotting his next move. The most dominant group in WWE history, the Bloodline. A group who will do anything to maintain their grip on WWE. And that means constantly obliterating the competition. Well, tonight will be no different.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. The mood just changed here. Intimidation level off the charts. It's not a matter of respect. The bloodline prefers being feared. And there is plenty to fear when it comes to their physicality. And we're about to see even more of that tonight. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this and business. His opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. This may sound hard to believe, gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you. Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Always composed, always in control. No one is more calculated. Once legend killer, now possibly the greatest legend in WWE history. Go. Superstars finally enter the ring and we are officially underway. Ah, softening up the neck with that one. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Uh oh! He deflects it right back. Oh no! Stun gun! Top rope, here we go! From way up, Reigns comes up short on that attack. Well placed, kick to the gut. Another damaging kick. Oh, and a close line to follow. Roman with his opponent across his own shoulder. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. With a laundry list of titles and accolades over the years, Randy Orton has more than cemented his legacy in WWE. And yet, there are plenty of competitors still bullheaded enough to believe that they can be the one to bring Orton down to put an indelible mark on all he's accomplished. No doubt Randy realizes that, and he uses it as more fuel for his fire. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Measuring. 
face stop. Reigns cuts him off. Oh my goodness. Here's a cover. He narrowly avoids the count. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Boy, oh, you're a pin uppercut. Really challenging the tribal chief with that. A ferocious Randy coming out here. Measuring. Oh, face stop. And just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. Power slam by Orton. Down to Orton. And a double axe handle smash. Pure intensity from the Viper. And Randy's on fire right now. Not even considering letting him answer back. This is how you cement a legacy, folks. Arm ringer. Oh, what? Wasn't expecting that. He knew that was coming. Just insulting. Ah, the power of Roman Reigns! And that was a precisely measured attack. Orton clearly rocked by a precise attack there. And the only thing on Roman's mind is to mount more punishment. Oh, stop right to the hand. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Look at this, just unloading. Caught that one with his face, and Randy's bleeding. Oh, man. Turned it into a statement DDT. This to the floor. Oh! Compromised position here. That hit catch from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. The Apex Predator showing no concern for his opponents. No coming back from Reigns after that. What power from the Tribal Chief. Two count. No, stops the count at two. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neat. The head of the table cinches it in. Now the guillotine choke is taking on so many superstars. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. And watch this. Letting him free? Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Arm trap. Endless knee strikes. And Randy can't mount any offense. And Roman might just have more in store. Drawing dangerously close to a count out here. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. The Viper shows his instincts. Big risk here, he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Great. OK, 
okay. He is not going to let him make a mockery of things. He evades their offense. Chief firmly asserting his position at the head of the table. His opponent, I just ran them shoulder first into the steel steps. What a vicious attack. Yeah, this competitor completely just throwing the rule book out the window. That arm might need medical attention. And so there's the bell, but I don't know how much. 
back to a match we're in for after that sneaky assault that took place during the entrances. We'll just have to wait and see how that little scuffle alters the balance of power in this contest. A little scuffle? I think you're downplaying what we just saw unfold in front of us. Big impact. <laughs> a big punch. Ouch. Uh-oh. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Boom! <laughs> He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Slam! What impact. Kick to the lower back. Corey Trick Williams is still fairly new to WWE. Which part of his game should be his focus here as he continues to develop? Well, there's a lot of natural talent and athleticism in Williams. It won't solve for everything, but it should be able to get him out of most jams while he builds up his body of work. And if this is sink or swim, Williams clearly just did the latter. Yeah, his theory is definitely feeling even cockier here. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stomps. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Oh, and a stomp. Ooh, what a damaging blow. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Training strikes and refusing to back down. Slugging away with everything they've got. The WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all around. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other. No, this could do it. He forces a break before the count of two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. And the forearm smash. Theory is becoming a bloody mess in there. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Neckbreaker position, but look at this power prying their way out. And then delivers a neckbreaker of their own. Just can he score the pin? What? Oh, he kicked out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Tackles ruthless. the face again. Williams gets countered. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. What more can this superstar do? Reaching deep into the arsenal. This could end the entire match. From the top floor. Got out of that situation and avoids any harm. Dominating shoulder tackle. And here's a cover. It's still hanging on. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Ooh. Oh, what a knee. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Uppercut. Jarring. What do they have planned here? Yuragi. Cover. Two. No, he gets the shoulder up. Almost inhuman at this point. Put into the corner now. 
Balls around the corner. Uh oh. What a super kick out of nowhere. He's taking this to the floor now. And Theory is firing up the crowd here. And this one might be headed ringside. Powerless position to be in right now. Thunderous power slam. What a reversal by Trick. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Theory for good. Cover! Are they hurt, guys? It sure looks that way. So an unfortunate circumstance in the wake of a victory. Gonna be tough to enjoy this win. We know how proud this competitor is. Certainly not the way this superstar wanted to exit this matchup with a potentially serious injury.